Welcome to Retro Rivals, a new Yu-Gi-Oh! series where we duel with the recently re-released Yu-Gi-Oh! Retro Pack. It's full of all the best cards from Yu-Gi-Oh!'s Golden Age, complete with the iconic anime monsters and powerful staples of all different rarities. Every week, we'll each open a new Retro Pack mini box that's four packs and use the cards inside to craft our own decks. That also means our decks will get stronger every week, from awkward strategies to custom-built powerhouses. The first duel to take five rounds is the winner. Okay guys, so we are back for episode five of Retro Rivals. The rivals are back in the building. Also, this time I got the packs for a normal price at Walmart. Thank goodness I didn't have to kill anybody for it. But guys, you know the deal. We are going to open these up and as usual, I will pull better than Paul. We are going to- play Yeah, that happens a lot, I noticed. <laughs> we're going to mod our decks and we're gonna see if I can get a W in this episode. If you guys like the series, remember, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and let us know down in the comments what your favorite retro pack cards are. All right, guys, my retro pack for this episode. Let's see what we get. All right, four packs, nine cards per pack. Let's see how many hollows we can get. I'm not sure what I really want. I, a Black Losing Ritual is not a bad start, honestly. You know, I love my Relinquish. MST is a great common. Spell and Trap removal is always good. Mystical, mystical Tomato, Tomato, Shozan Ryu, and the left arm of the Forbidden One. Completely useless for this series, but I think I need one for my Exodia collection, so I'll take it. Uh, Thunder Dragon, finally a third. That's actually huge. Now I can make that play pause when making it all the time. Uh, seven Tools of the Bandit, Great Counter Trap, Harpy Lady, and Twin Headed Thunder Dragon as a reminder that we here now. Pack number two, nine more cards. Tune Summon Skull, not the greatest tune, but it is a tune. Gaia Power, powers up my Earth Monsters. Umi Ruka to power up water. Shining Angel, actually I think I only had two of this, so I'm really glad to get a third. And the right arm of the Forbidden One. Uh, my four packs is gonna be Exodia pieces. Uh, cool, I guess. <laughs> Baby Dragon, I made a misplay last game with this. Jirai Gamo, a powerful normal summon. Harpy Lady, and then Mask of Darkness to recycle my trap cards. All right, that pack wasn't as good, but it's hard to beat a Black Illusion Ritual pack and MST. All right, here we go. Rising Air Current to power up my Wind Monsters. UFO Turtle, good uh, fire floater, though there are not any good fire monsters to float into. Upstart Goblin, I got more than enough of this. Mystical Space Typhoon, I'm always glad to see it. Penguin Soldier, this card could have bailed me out last week. Now I have two, so I'm definitely gonna make sure to use it. Polymerization, Baby Dragon, Maha Vilo, Paul keeps wrecking me with this. And Twin Head Thunder Dragon, cause now I can do that play too. All right, last pack, we've got one super rare. Can we get one more? More hollow. Or will it be an Exodia piece? Because that just seems to be how things go here. Send you the thousand hands. I love that. This is definitely going into my deck. This just means more relinquish plays. Umi Ruka for water stuff. Toon World. So if I want to do Toon things, I think this is only my second Toon World. I don't think I had very many. Uh, Flying Kamakiri number one. Scapegoat. An ultra rare for the stall. Now, you cannot tribute scapegoat tokens for tribute summons, but you can tribute them to summon a relinquished. So I have to keep that in mind. Brave Keeper Servant, Harpy's Lady, Hane Hane, Maha Vilo. All right, these weren't bad at all. I got good commons, and then I got an ultra rare in scapegoat and a super rare in penguin soldier. These were good packs. These were really good packs. You're not beating the Joey allegations. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's time for me to open a little bit more retro pack. This is the episode where I hope to finally start playing tunes. I believe I've got everything I need, and I'm also up in the series, so it might be sort of fun just to kind of mess around with. But more than anything, I'd like to see some of the secret rares in this set. I got Amazon as Chainmaster in like episode one, and honestly, it'd be cool to just see, maybe not even another copy of that, but I think there are other secret rares in here that would be just fun and kind of spice things up. Anything new is welcome, of course. Retro pack number one. So we've got Umaruka, Shining Angel, Rising Air Current, UFO Turtle. Ooh, an interesting card that I don't think either of us have pulled. Wall of Illusion. It's just a rare, but this is really good. This has 1850 defense and any monster that attacks, it gets returned to the hand after damage calculation, which is a pretty big deal because this kind of can out, you know, like a ritual monster or a high tribute monster in a way that makes it kind of tough to actually get back on the field. And I'd say it's in this series, probably better than Giant Soldier of Stone because that keeps getting 
nerfed by like Gaia power, so really cool, Wall of Illusion. Gaia the Fierce Knight, Elegant Egotist, Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon, and the Bespoke Giant Soldier of Stone. Pack number two, Upstart Goblin, Mystical Space Typhoon, Send You the Thousand Hands, if I actually had a Relinquish, I could use that, Giant Germ, Left Arm of the Forbidden One. Uh, it's cool that Exodia's in here, but for a series like this, I don't think it's really all too helpful. Cannon Soldier, Curse of Dragon, Gazelle the King of Mythical Beasts, and Gravekeeper Servant. Yeah, I'd be neat if someone actually had all the five Exodia pieces or something, but even so, I don't know if I'd use it. Although technically, Graceful Charity and Upstart are like in all of our, in both of our decks, so, you know. Umairuka, Toon World, Flying Kamakiri, Molten Destruction, <gasps> ooh, Ultra Rare Blue Eyes White Dragon. That's awesome, 3,000 attack. This legendary dragon is a powerful engine of destruction. Virtually invincible, very few have faced this awesome creature and lived to tell the tale. Amazing. Uh, I will probably be putting this in my deck because like, why not? It's two tributes, but for 3000 attack, this is actually like a difference maker card. It's, it's worth it as opposed to like tributing two for freaking Guy of the Fierce Knight. So uh, yes, I will take this. And it's an ultra rare, so can't complain. Oh yeah, Cannon Soldier, Harpy Lady, Thousand Dragon, Gravekeeper Servant. Down to our final retro pack. Giant Germ, Black Illusion Ritual, Toon Mermaid, Gaia Power. Oh, hmm, interesting. Another super rare, Sangin. I think this is my third Sangin in this series. And while that's pretty cool and a pretty good pull, I have to say, I'm not actually so sure. Like Sangin's good, don't get me wrong, but there aren't that many great monsters to search sometimes and like it searches it to your hand instead of to the field so sometimes that's like kind of tricky i'll probably still be using it but um i would have maybe preferred to get something like a, a penguin soldier or a little more like utility a way to out a card instead mask of darkness magic jammer flame swordsman the fusion that you can't even summon with things in this set and seven tools of the bandit awesome so we did get a super and an ultra which is great you know pretty good solid pull rates out of four packs and the wall of illusion is a nice new addition to uh to the pile. All right, well, I'm gonna get to the deck building. I'll see you guys soon. So I think we just realized we've gotten the three cover cards of the set. That's right, I pulled both the Dark Condition and the Red Eyes. And I got Blue Eyes White Dragon, so we actually have a... Uh... All we need is a Yugi card. Yeah, we've got the guy. Yeah, if Yugi was actually a card, then cool. Thumbs up for that. I don't know why people keep saying I look like Joey when I play. I mean, check out this new card, but otherwise, I don't see it. Oh, he's not gonna see this one coming. We're changing things up this episode. All right, Duelist, are you ready to rumble? Oh, I got you this time. You won't get me with your old tricks. I have changed my deck in a very significant way. Don't you grope at my cards. This will be a character theme duel, but you'll find out what duel exactly soon. Okay, that's fine. Sort of. Out. High roll. Six. Six. Slightly below average. Five. Five. I'll take the first the move, Duelist. Rigged. All right, what do we have here? What do we Draw have? Draw for turn. I'll start by activating my Thunder Dragon. I'm gonna discard it to search for two more copies of Thunder Dragon from my deck. Next, we'll activate Graceful Charity. Wow, he just yeah. He these decks are deck. these decks are getting you know getting kind of fast, a little lean. Now I have to discard I only two have cards. One Graceful Charity. Remember that, guys. I have one. What two will I discard? We'll actually discard the Blue Eyes White Dragon. You actually ran I, it? Yeah, I'm running my Blue Eyes. And this next oh, but one. You have Monster Reborn. This next one might surprise you. I'll discard Mahavilo. But you have Monster Reborn, so nothing going to your grave means anything. Possibly. All right, I'm going to set a card face down and activate Toon World. Oh, we're really doing by this. By paying 1,000 life points. We are really doing this. Okay. Yes. It doesn't do anything. Set and pass. Draw for time. I'll set a monster face down. Set one, two, three. Three cards in my How many traps trap you got zones. back there, Duelist? And I'll pass. It's called the Spell and Trap Zone for a reason, Paul. I draw. I'll normal summon my Maha Vilo. I'm going to tribute Maha Vilo for the Toon Summon Skull. Now, Toon Summon Skull can't attack the turn that it's summoned. That's right. But I can attack you directly when I can at the cost of 500 life points. Next, we're going to flip summon Mother Grizzly in attack mode. Your move duelist. Draw for time. I'm going to tribute my Mystic Tomato to summon the Summon Skull, the real oh, Summon Skull. Oh, I 
see how it is. Okay, duelist. And let's have Summon Skull attack Toon Summon Skull. Alright, okay. Both destroyed. They're both destroyed. I was trying to get an attack off, man. I could not allow that. <laughs> I pass. I draw. Time for plan B then. Normal summon the Amazonist Chain Master. Trap hole. Oh my gosh. Fine, Mother Grizzly attack directly. I gotta take it. I'll set a card face down and end my turn. Then I will draw. We'll set a monster face down and I'll end my turn. I draw. Have a thousand life points. I'm activating Upstart Goblin. I appreciate it. You'll need it once I start attacking you directly. Draw. Into the battle phase. My Mother Grizzly's gonna attack your face down. You hit. Shining Angel. Oh, fun. Okay. Shining Angel will get its effect to summon a 1500 or less light monster from my deck. Shining Angel. Back to you, Duelist. Draw for turn. Let's normal summon the Mystic Tomato. I'll activate my Solemn Judgment on that. I'm gonna pay Ooh. half my life points to negate the summon of Mystic. Yes, half my life points to negate the Chain. summon of- Chain. Oh. Seven tools of the bandit. Oh, okay. So I have to pay a thousand, right? Yeah, I pay a thousand. Okay. Well, darn. It sucks. <laughs> These traps getting in work, Yeah, there. okay. Mystic Tomato will attack your Mother Grizzly. We'll both be destroyed. We are, and we'll both get our effects. My Mother Grizzly. Sangam, Shining Angel attack. Fine, Duelist. Mother Grizzly's destroyed. Trading out cards. And trade these searchers. That's what the series is all about. We're just deck fitting. Battle of That's all fitting with searchers. Why am, I, why am I shuffling so hard? I already know how uh, this Another out. Mother I mean, you don't have to attack. That's up to you. Let's have Shining Angel attack Mother Grizzly. All right, we're both destroyed once again. I'm getting my Toon Mermaid. And I'll get my Copycat, who on summon will copy your mermaid stats. Copycat, attack Toon Mermaid. Oh, for Christ's sake. <laughs> you don't want to let these Toons live, huh? No. Okay. And then Sangin will attack directly for 1,000. All right, look at us. Depressing. I'll pass. <laughs> Depressing. <laughs> Draw for turn. I'll pass my turn. Then I'll draw. Sangin, attack directly for a thousand. I'll pass. I draw. Polymerization, I needed this top deck. We're going to- Solemn Judgment. I'll chain my Solemn Judgment. Oh my God! <laughs> yes, both Solemns get played. Oh. And that means I can use my two Thunder Dragons to summon the Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. Oh. Golly, okay, here I we are. I needed this. Here we are. So you had a Solemn and a Seven Tools. I had two Solemns. I did what I, I had. I had to lose a lot of life points for this, and it's hardly really worth it. Okay, Axe of Despair will put me at 3,800. Oh my god. And my Black Pendant. What is this? <laughs> my Black Pendant. Oh my god. I thought I didn't have enough damage to deal this enough for game, but this is dumb. This puts him at 33, now 4,300, which is exactly <laughs> enough. Because last turn, I had two Thunder Dragons and these equip spells. And I was just like, guess it's done. Enter battle and attack the Sangin. I got robbed. For 3,300, exactly. I got robbed. Well, you wouldn't let me use my tunes, so I feel it's only fair. Like, it was supposed to be, I was supposed to, turn, <laughs> I was supposed to end it next turn. So, Solemn Judgment's a really fun card because I have two copies of them. I think I really caught Alec off guard when I used the first one and it got negated, but I had a second one in tow. And no matter how low your life points get, you're never actually out of the duel until you lose. So, I can get my life points as low as I want with Solemn Judgment. If it opens up the opportunity for a win, it's always worth it. The traps are back. Finally, this feels like the first episode where the counter traps are countering and they feel so good. So so, so good. But it didn't feel very good when Paul solemned my, my solemn, but I'm loving these cards. All right, here we go. All right. Game two. This time I'm going first. Show me what you got. Draw. I'll start by discarding my Thunder Dragon. Ah, uh, okay. This seems like a, a you fair, go to this school of thought too, play. Duelist. Mm. It's just, it's, it's an annoyingly powerful play, specifically for this format. I mean, Thunder Dragon has been good in other formats, but I think only, I don't think we were ever used, making the fusion monster before. And now it's the best card in this format. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to set two and pass. I draw for turn. I'll also activate my Thunder Dragon. Do I have a poly yet? Maybe not, but it still means I'm thinning this deck. At this point, I think Paul's wearing a 37 card deck. No, yeah. actually, it's probably like a 34 card I mean, card with like deck. upstarts and gra <laughs> graceful charity. Speaking of that, upstart goblin. I draw. How about a second upstart goblin? Normal summon the mother grizzly. That is a real monster. Attack you directly for 1400. I'll chain or I'll respond with scapegoat. Scapegoat? I'm making four sheep tokens. That is new. 
Uh, okay. We got two Yusei's and and these two tokens. Two dice. Yeah. There we go. All right, we'll attack one of your dice. We'll set one card face down and end my turn. Draw for turn. Normal summon. Copycat. Oh goodness. Okay. What copycat does. I do. I'm going to duplicate your Mother Grizzly's deck, and then we're gonna activate the mystical space typhoon on your face now. Ooh, it's my solemn judgment. It's always a painful you one to lose. You yeah, I got solemn and misty. Oh, no, this, this is a fair play. Speaking of fair play, polymerization. Ooh. I'm going to fuse off the two thunder dragons in my hand. And that would have been a nice thing to solemn. To summon the twin head. Oh, you have one too. That was my thing. It's our thing. That was my thing. Our. That was my card. Copycat, attack the Mother Grizzly. The Mother Grizzly's effect will activate. Special summon, another Mother Grizzly. And then my twin headed will attack your Mother Grizzly. It's destroyed, but it will summon another Mother Grizzly. As I can't summon Toon Mermaid since I don't actually have Toon World on no the field. Toon World here, and I'll pass. Draw. I'll attack this other token. Goodbye, dice. Set and pass. Draw for turn. Twin head will attack. You attacked. My wall of illusion. <sighs> if you attack, your monster gets returned to the hand. Of course, wall of illusion is still destroyed, so. Oh, that's pain. But I had a feeling it would be something of that nature. I will pass. I will draw. Normal summon giant germ. I'll attack your Yusei. And I'll attack your other Yusei. Goodbye, other token. Your move duelist. Draw. I'll set one face down and pass. Draw for turn. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna show you guys my hand just so y'all can like kind of get a, a little look. Dark and terrible things are happening. A thousand with giant germ. I'll take it. 1400 with Mother Grizzly. Your move, duelist. Draw for turn. Let's normal summon Sangin. Sangin will attack your giant germ. Awesome, we're both going. Now giant germs effect. Effect of Sangin. It's gonna deal 500 and summon a couple more germs. Now I had a 1500 attack or less monster to my hand. Oh wait, is that? Oh my God, I think I took my other giant germ out of my deck. Oh my God. Yeah, <laughs> I think I took my other giant germ out. Oh no, I only have one. I'll pass. I draw. Graceful Charity, draw three. We'll discard Amazonist Chain Master. At least says he doesn't need that. Hmm. And the Summon Skull. And now I activate Toon World by paying 1,000 life points. There you go. And now, Duelist, are you ready? No. Special Summon the Toon Mermaid it's to the field. Special Actually, summon. sorry, I'll summon her in defense. Because you can do that with Special Summons. I'll also Special Summon a second Toon Mermaid to oh, the field. Oh, he's wildin'. Then I'm going to Tribute Giant Germ. No! For Toon Summon Skull. I... <laughs> and I'll Tribute Mother Grizzly. No way! For a Toon Summon Skull. Bro, what is this? Your move. Four tunes. Jeez. Okay. What can you do Draw. to deal with the tunes? So I'm going to normal summon my Senju. Okay. And activate Senju's effect to search for my ritual monster. We'll get relinquished. I'm going to play Black Illusion Ritual. Yay. My Senju to summon relinquished. Relinquish effect to take control of your tune summon skull. So now I gain your attack and defense. And now I'll enter battle. And relinquish fine, fine. will attack tune summon skull. <sighs> We have the same stats, which means we're yeah. both destroyed, except Relinquish will destroy this instead. Mm -hmm. I'll pass there. I draw Duelist. Now I can switch my Toon Mermaids to attack mode. Mm -hmm. I'll pay 500 life points to have Toon Mermaid attack Relinquished. I have to take all 1,400 of that. And then I'll pay 500 more life points to have Toon Mermaid attack you directly. Another 1,400. Set one card face down and end my turn. Draw for turn. Let's normal summon Shining Angel. I'll use my trap hole. Then I'll use seven tools of the bandit by paying a thousand. Ah, darn. I was hoping I could just get the damage next turn and win. No, 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 no. you gotta earn every last bit of it. I'll enter battle and have my Shining Angel attack your Toon Mermaid. Toon Mermaid is destroyed. And so is Shining Angel. Shining Angel. If I could have gotten those attacks with those Toons, I'm in skulls, no, man. No, 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 it's okay. Oh, you, you don't need that. That's that's too much. And I don't I don't want that for you. Okay, okay. good to hear that you're being thoughtful. We'll get in the Shining Angel. Okay. You know what this one's gonna do? Yeah. It's gonna attack. Okay. And we're gonna use Dude, I, I had so much damage with your, <laughs> with your name on it for and next turn. Look, and now I don't have to worry about it. We get another Shining Angel. Now, Shining Angel will attack directly for 1400. Let's set one card face down, and I'll pass. I draw. Oh, I have to pass. Ooh, draw. Normal summon Giant Germ. Giant Germ attacks for 1000, and then Shining Angel attacks for 1400, and I'll pass. I draw. 
I'll use polymerization. Say hello to the twin-headed thunder dragon. Yeah, there's no way out of this. Uh, no matter see. which one I attack. I don't see how you get around this one. Well, I'm gonna attack giant germ. All right, I'll take the 18. Then giant germ effect. You get I'll burned for five. 500. And we'll summon two giant germs. Your move. Draw for 10. Attack, I'll yeah. take 1400 Shining Angel effect to summon the illustrious Copycat, who Yay. on summon is going to copy the attack and defense of your monster, so now we're equal, so this can attack. They're both destroyed. And then Giant Germ for the win. Ah, oh, jeez. All right, we're oh, going man. to game three. Wall of Illusion. This is actually a fun new addition to my deck. At 1850 defense, it's pretty bulky. And this thing is great because no matter what, it's gonna bounce at least one monster back to the hand. If they attack with something weaker than it, that'll get bounced back and they'll still have to waste like a tribute summon monster or something really strong swinging over this card. This is insane. And it's searchable with Sangin. I finally got my third Thunder Dragon. So you know what that means. Ooh. We can finally do the play that Paul has been wrecking me with all series. It's time to go. All right, Duelist. You did well to make it to game three against my tunes. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still trying to get with the fact that you summoned four of those in one turn. I'm taking the first move this time. All right, you're gonna need it. Draw five cards and draw for turn. Set a monster and pass. Draw, Graceful Charity. Oh, Finally, graceful. I saw mine. Draw graceful three start cards. to the game. This hurts, but we're gonna drop the relinquished and the trap hole. Normal summon send you. Okay, well. And it's gonna search a new relinquished. Yeah, I guess it's not so bad. <laughs> <huh>? <laughs> I was like, well, this, I, this, it was the only card in my hand that was repla easily replaced. And we'll go to battle. Battle into Send you his 1400, it'll attack your face down. You attack. The Mother Grizzly leaves its effect. Since I don't have Toon World, I've only got one other thing I can summon. Fair enough. Another Mother Grizzly. Main phase two, I'll activate Swords of Revealing Light. So not, no shenanigans with that. And I'll I can be trusted. Two cards face down. Pass. Draw. I'll pass. Draw for time. Oh, that's cool. I'll activate Fisher. Oh, well, no rude. defense. No defense, finally. Okay. Then we'll normal summon the Mystic Tomato. Mystic Tomato will attack you up in 1400. And then Senju will do the same. And I'll pass. I draw. Normal summon the Mahavela. I'll equip it with the Axe of Despair. Set a card face down and end my turn. Draw. How big is it? 3050. That's a, that's upsetting. Is what I would say. If I couldn't tribute my Senju to normal summon, summon Skull. Okay, but it's not strong enough to do I'll with Oh, okay. Summon Skull, attack Mahavilo. Anything on attack declaration. Nothing on attack declaration. Cause I'm list. activating Mystical Space Typhoon, targeting your Axe of Despair. Oh, ooh, rude, not pretty, not kind. <laughs> okay, I take 950. And then Mystic Tomato will attack for 1400. Pass. Draw, so this is the third turn that I can't attack. Yes. I'll activate Thunder Dragon. I'm gonna get two more Thunder Dragons to my hand. Activate my Mystical Space Typhoon on your face down card. Ah, lame. Lost my seven oh, tools. Oh, seven tools. Monster Reborn. Oh my god, that's... Do you have anything useful in your grave? Probably not. Do you want to relinquish? I can't even summon it even <laughs> properly. Ritual summon it to Duelist. So it's gonna have to be the Maha Velo. Can't attack, unfortunately. But I can equip it with another Axe of Despair. You just had another one to... Man, you another equip spell. Yeah, I got my equip spells. I'll tell you one thing I do have. Even if my hand's full of bricks, I have <laughs> equip spells. <laughs> Set face down. Here, move Duelist. Goodbye, swords. You serve me well. Draw. Let's activate Black Illusion Ritual. Let's tribute the penguin soldier from my hand to summon Relinquished. Oh, unkind. Relinquished will activate and take control of your Mahavilo. I'll have my Relinquished with 1550 attack your face now. You attack the Mother Grizzly. And sadly, I have no oh. more targets I can summon because I don't have to enroll on the field. Then summon skull attacks and Mystic Tomato will end this one. Yeah, <laughs> oh, darn. Well played. I had a Toon Mermaid in my hand too. But Ah, uh, there's no Toon yeah, World. no Toon World. Here are my Toon cards. This episode only I thought it would be fun to try out a Toon strategy. I've got Toon World, Toon Mermaid, Toon Summon Skull. I also have Mother Grizzly in here, which is meant to get 
get out Toon Mermaid. It kind of works. It's a little bit clunky. You have to have Toon World out first to summon them, and then they have to wait a turn to attack, and then if Toon World dies, they die. And But still, I was able to get a lot of damage on the board. It just didn't exactly work out. Uh, maybe we'll take them out for next time. I don't know. I love this card. I, I just do. It, this card is so rude. I can float into it. It copies attacks. There's so many situations where it's useful. I haven't gotten off my play where I use Luminous Spark to um, boost it up in a while, but I, I, I still love Copycat. This is in my deck forever. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed episode yes. five of Retro Rivals. You guys have been really getting into it, and we appreciate that. Thank you for all your positive comments and support on the videos. And maybe I can get more in the character next time. Yeah, I think I have something in I mind got something for you. to show you. We'll bring you a dog suit. You can be like, Joey. The people will call me a furry. Well, they will. You know yeah. they will. <laughs> uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed, though. Make sure you drop a like, subscribe, become a YouTube channel member. That's a great Why way not? to support the channel if you like the content. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Past, Past turn. turn.